Hey everybody out there in the YouTube land, I am Janet and um, I am half of the Mummy and the Monkeys YouTube channel here. We have different playlists uh, pertaining to different topics. This is part of the Monster Hustle and Living the Scream podcast where we talk about our reselling and thrifting adventures. And uh, this is something I wanted to share with everybody in case it could help you. Whether you are an online seller like us, we sell a lot of things on eBay, my husband and I, or if you are sending a gift to a loved one and you wanna make sure it gets there right. So we had some packages the past week or so, some orders go out where we dropped them off at the post office and usually they scan them, it gets to where it needs to go, easy peasy, you know? And um, we had a bunch of buyers on eBay message us saying, hey, my item showed delivered, but it says delivered in Cleveland, Ohio, not where I am in Indiana or where I am in Florida, wherever the state may be. So we drop it off and it was getting scanned in as delivered at the post office. It wasn't showing that it was on its way to the next spot. And then even when we were told, oh, it's okay, everything will get out. We noticed it wasn't getting scanned in again. So like, normally you can track a package to see where it goes, what facility it's in, what city it's in. When this mistake happened, it, it had like no information. It just said, it delivered in Cleveland, Ohio. So it was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, but luckily everything mostly everything got to where it needed to go. We only have a few orders where the buyers are telling us we didn't get the item yet. What's going on? Um, I was able to message, you know, we were able to message our buyers explaining, hey, it was scanned by mistake. It's still on its way. It should be fine. And you know, most of it was. And hopefully with these other two orders where the buyer is like, I don't know where my item is. It's not here yet. Hopefully it does get there in the next day or two and we're good. Um, I did, we did talk to people at the post office and we get it. We totally understand. Sometimes people make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Um, but it's just, we get concerned because when buyers are like, I didn't get my item and then it shows none of the tracking. And then technically, if that happens, a buyer could dispute it with eBay and say, I didn't get my item, I want a refund. Meanwhile, maybe they did get their item and we don't know, and they could just say they didn't get their item. Like we're not, you know, you hope they're being honest. So that's why I like seeing the right scans so I know where the package is going. So I know, okay, it made it to this town, it made it to that state, it's on the way, we're good. You know, and that way if there's a dispute with the buyer, oh, I didn't get my item, I could say, look, it was scanned here, here, and here. Here's the tracking, all the info is there. Um, it's nice to have that information, to know exactly what's going on. Um, so yeah, definitely question it if that has ever happened with your um, online orders or if you sent a package to someone and, and maybe they made a mistake. And we hope everybody can just learn from it and we can all move on from this. Um, but yeah, it was just a weird fluke thing that we noticed this week and that's, um, it was just something I wanted to bring up. So this is kind of like the abridged version <laughs> of our Living the Screen podcast because we haven't been able to go live this week and, and chat together. James is busy doing work. I have to do work too. Um, and then in, we were helping people in between and, and you know, it's just holiday craziness and we've got Thanksgiving around the corner. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching and um, thanks for hearing my story. If you have any questions, comments, you can put it down in the comments below. If you have um, any eBay stories you wanna share, you can put it in the comments below. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. We will go live again with more podcasts and more episodes of The Mummy and the Monkeys, Harry Scary Hangout. That's another playlist on our channel where we go live, we dress in character, and we host a cheesy B movie. But for this Friday, November 20, November 22nd, 2024, we're going to be hosting some short films. We're gonna have a short films night. Some uh, really retro, really dorky educational films. They're fun to watch. 
and um, every now and then we like to pepper in a short films night along with some found footage. All right, guys. Well, that's it for now. Bye.